Good morning. Today we're just on the very outskirts of the large town of Motril. Behind us the mountains bordering the Granada area and below us the views out. A little hazy today but at least we can see we're here the day after all this wonderful Sahara rain that arrived but in the distance there is the Mediterranean and you may or may not be able to see it is just over the top of the distant rooftops there between the palm trees you can just see the wall of the port of Motril. So beaches, local areas, golfing and we're here on this wonderful uh, private urbanisation of detached properties to see this wonderful house. Okay, we have a total of five bedrooms with the master en suite, three bathrooms in total, uh, and great flexibility of living accommodation. As you can see, we're on the terrace at the moment. Apologise for the pool being covered, but we are mid March and with the owners being aware of the forecast of the Sahara rain, have kept the pool covered so that we're not uh, swimming in oxtail soup. Okay, let me take you around the outside of this property. Small outdoor shower, unusually with hot and cold water. The pool is triangular, so narrow at this end and just a metre deep and opens up to the wider end here which is 1.7 metres deep so although not entirely huge it is actually long enough to swim which is a great thing. There are steps at both ends, obviously the steps are under cover at the moment at that end and steps at this end so ideal for older and younger family members. The access to the pool is a smooth ramp so the pool area is accessible to everybody and coming up from the pool we come up to this wonderful large terrace with its incredible views not the greatest views today but certainly better than had we arrived yesterday when everything looked orange I'm under the metal pergola which has the canopy above so this area becomes an additional outside dining area palm trees within the terrace different accesses into the house as well as the main one and I'll bring you back up to the covered terrace and the barbecue just before we actually go inside so this terrace is really really quite large as you can see fully tiled the tiles all in great condition very very large usable and very sociable outside space to my left the dog house an enclosed pen for a dog sadly the uh, the old German Shepherd that the owners had is sadly not with us anymore and obviously because they have the house on the market they're not ready to uh, take on a new dog just yet so that property is also vacant great little allotment area here with raised boxes lots of onions vegetables this tree here is a nispero olive tree in the middle and another nispero at the other side with the yuccas and the palms the large tree which has had a good haircut ready for this next spring is a large fig tree additional areas coming down here to the gate an area here as you can see storage of firewood for the open fire and a locked store great for gardening equipment or anything else as you can see very very useful coming down to the main entrance 
with a fully automatic gate with remote and as you can see when you open the remote the gate just doesn't swing all the way open and all the way closed you can open it and stop it for pedestrian access without having to open the whole thing for vehicles my vehicle is parked just outside the gate where when that's not there there's a good sized area outside here as a turning circle and as you can see a really good quality concrete road takes us all the way down to the bottom it's exactly 1.1 kilometers down to the it's not the main road but the major road which goes left up and through the uh, tunnel towards Gorgaracha and up to Granada and the road that goes down to the right and enters very quickly the city of Montreal itself okay let's show you those nice covered terraces and the areas directly outside the uh, front door lighting as you can see on the driveway all the way up this area cactuses lots of color and plants water points to look after the garden at several places around both the terrace and the pool a door here which we'll see from the inside uh, leading to uh, a rear corridor to a ground floor bathroom pantry and then eventually into the kitchen great area for areas for the kids to play coming back to the pool directly overlooking the pool is the outdoor kitchen with built barbecue there's water and a prep area here gas bottles stored here for the griddle and as you can see on the shelf there light and power in this area and also an outdoor canopy which will come out over this particular area and then finally this very large covered area right outside the living room door once again here it's actually ramped two steps up to the left and there's actually a smooth ramp onto this level so the whole ground floor and gardens to this wonderful property and including the pool is access to people with both able and limited movements certainly accessible by wheelchairs and people that maybe don't walk as well as everyone else okay from this great outdoor dining terrace let's take you inside the house okay come inside the main living area if it looks slightly dark at the moment it's because behind me if I just bring this back we have a large curtain overneath the front door over the front door I beg your pardon as typical with traditional Spanish houses to keep the Sun out however the tradition here the remnants of the original farmhouse have been maintained in the beams which have been cut in half to give the effect of a beam ceiling this is actually a very modern constructed house built just 17 years ago this is the lounge as you can see around this wonderful open fireplace two large easy chairs and a sofa plus an additional easy chair another chair here in the corner with open access through to the modern kitchen which we'll see in a second there's actually space in this room for a breakfast table small dining table and through here an even larger formal family dining area superb when you're entertaining one of the very convenient parts of this property is that a couple can live completely on the ground floor in 
a high degree of comfort. We have a fabulous ensuite bathroom with large walk-in shower, loo, vanity unit, bidet, again nice pale blue and white tiles. Passing through to the master bedroom which has a rather nice walk-in dressing room a must-have I'm told and again through the arch into the master bedroom again nice neutrally decorated we've got uh, a king-size bed currently in the room at the moment so lots of room and even a small child's bed for when the grandchild was a baby no longer that age now laminate flooring through this space keeping it wonderful and comfortable again modern double glazed windows with fly screens and again views out down towards the coast and over the terrace and the pool from this room great master suite coming back into the lounge the door that's slightly open there is taking us up to the first floor and additional bedrooms I'll show you that in a few moments but I'd like to bring you first into this really well laid out kitchen Fabulous granite worktops all the way through. The sink set into the granite with drainer and all the way through to the electric hob. Modern slimline cooker hood and as you can see the diamond pattern fully tiled all the way around including the serving hatch and as we come back round Additional space with storage, space currently used for a coffee machine and as you can see we've got integrated eye level microwave and oven. We have a very large freezer and a very large fridge with cupboards above in this area. Moving through, the first room on our left which is a good sized room is a very traditional thing in a large Spanish family house is a proper pantry. We are only five minutes from the main town centre however we have lots of storage to make sure we never run out of anything and an additional fridge freezer unit in here if required. Place to keep cool and store your wine. And just beyond is what was originally on the architect's plans as the second ground floor bedroom. It's never actually been needed by this family to be used as a bedroom. So as you can see, it's quite well organized and doubles up as both the owner's office. And is very well organized workshop area. As you'll see as we go through the whole house how well maintained everything is and also somewhere his wife can close the doors to while he's practicing his, his latest tune. The last part on the ground floor is an incredibly good utility area. Ceramic sink, great use for mops as we have tile floors or laminate floors throughout. Area for stacked washer and dryer with a lovely linen cupboard. Great storage area under the stairs for cleaning materials, etc. And beyond it leads through, as you can see the light there, to the outside where we saw coming up the drive. Gas boiler for additional hot water as and when the solar power 
needs a little assistance which would be almost never here okay nice blue and bathroom here on the ground floor should anybody want to use what I described as the office workshop as um, an additional bedroom then there is a toilet WC and it could be converted to a, a wet room if required okay fantastic property we'll take you upstairs now and show you the guest accommodation and rooms upstairs okay arriving on the top of the stairs for the couple that live here at this moment in time this is purely their family's guest accommodation coming along the landing we have a very large and very deep built-in wardrobe here I'll just open one door just to give you an idea just how deep this is so tremendous storage bedroom number one on this floor as you can see just as we come in each room has its own independent air conditioning and heating system good sized double room lots of natural light this bedroom looking back down the drive has the nice palm trees outside and views out there down to the coast all the windows are double glazed have additional security locks have the additional roll down blinds on the outside and are all fitted with fly screens very very useful great power points telephone points tv points and again a large built-in double wardrobe with the benefit of custom built-in drawers too moving next door another lovely double size room again with its own air conditioning and heating unit dual aspect this one with window facing southeast and the window facing south again back towards the drive larger french style windows that can both be opened again with the roll down screens fly screens and completely double glazed and again you can see above the doors there this is where the more of an american style central air system works on this floor so we've no bulky units in there just each room with its own thermostat control for cool or warm air and again great built-in wardrobes and just like the other room also with uh, built-in drawers we back out onto this nice open landing the guest bathroom nice large bathroom very nice blue white tiles tile floor to ceiling large vanity mirror again window this one views out over the terrace and the pool and has views out to the mountains and as you can see we have a large walk-in shower unit blue and bd finally on this floor the last of the bedrooms or gymnasium or art studio or in this particular case with the owners used for storage for all their pool toys and games fitness equipment never been used another desk but it is a huge great space and would be a great flexible unit for any family okay just to sum up we'll finish our video here in this 
fabulous kitchen proper cook's kitchen integrated dishwasher which I missed on the way through in theory all on one level on the ground floor with ramp access from the terrace and ramp access down to the pool electronic gates to get our car right up to the door the ground floor living accommodation offers a nice lounge dining room with lots and lots of space with feature beam ceiling and open fireplace the kitchen we've just mentioned through to what is now the workshop which could be bedroom number two on this floor with large dispenser or pantry as we would say in English plus a corridor with the separate washroom loo leading to the outside so people can come in and use the bathroom from the pool terrace without having to come into the house large utility area with washing machine and under stair storage for cleaning materials of course we have the ground floor master ensuite bedroom with walk-in dressing room and as you've just seen the upstairs with two full double bedrooms nice large family bathroom plus bedroom number five or uh, great spare room for sports gymnasium whatever you would like the property has solar power for all the hot water it has its own 40,000 litre storage tank under the terrace they have community water which they pay in total around about 40 50 euros a year a year for the water the community fees as we're in a private urbanization are 23 euros per month and the eb banner for the local council charges are 500 euros for the whole year absolutely fabulous property lots of flexible living great great quality throughout outstanding views very close to Montreal, and all this could be yours for 430,000 euros